<laughs> Look at that thing. Hello everybody! Wait, why is this the final one? Well, this whole streaming campaign was always going to be a two month long 2020 experiment. Doing a little bit of a little bit of everything. Touch you know, putting my toes in all sorts of pies. Fingers, not toes, I think. Either way. Finding out what I enjoyed making, what worked on Twitch, and whether I could keep it up and would want to do it more. We may come back. I'm going on a hiatus after this. I've already been on a YouTube hiatus for a month, even though uploads are still coming out. Um, but I'll then be going on to a proper Twitch hiatus for a month. Maybe two? Maybe longer. I might come back to streaming, because it has been quite fun. I also might not. I haven't decided. I need to work out the logistics and see like how well... Like, do people respond to the stream bots or the stream highlights, the edits that we make? Will it still continue after this actual live streaming is finished? There's all sorts of things piecing together, basically. Um, so it is, in that sense, our final stream because I don't actually know if I'm continuing. Or even if I'm, it might even be, there's all sorts of variables, basically. It could be that we continue streaming after a few months on YouTube instead, you know, that is where 240,000 people will get the notification. But then at the same time, uh, I think we started this stream, this campaign two months ago with a thousand, two thousand followers, I think. We're now at 2,807, so at the very least it's 800 new followers, if not 1,800. I can't tell, I think it's probably just 800, but even still, that's, that's nothing to like, you know, scoff at, so we'll see. As for what we're doing today, I ain't entirely sure. I had a plan. I had several plans. I always have plans, but the plans were like back in August. Things change, you know? 2020, things change. What I really wanted to do, there's a stream idea I've been wanting to do for years, and it was play through Rhythm Heaven Fever, but like stand up, dance the actual motions, do a little bit of goofy fun with it. Bonus points if I could do it as a charity stream, um, but unfortunately that ended up failing, uh, falling through. Um, but then, a final little caveat to it now, as much as I don't want to like be so disheartened from, like, it's not a disheartening thing, but doing Rhythm Heaven Fever now wouldn't be a good idea because for a start I do really want to do it as a charity event. I don't want to do it non-charity, but then also RT Game just came out with the stream doing all that and I was like, damn it, he invested a whole seven hours to do the entire game. I don't have that kind of time. I would only be able to do the beginning, so I'd rather put it on pause for a charity event all the way through. Does that make sense? Um, that was the original plan for the final stream idea. A backup was that there is still the December trailer showcase to do this month. There aren't any new trailers. We were short last month on trailers to watch. I can only watch the Disney investor event of which there's very little trailers for. It's just imagery, you know? Maybe like a short clip, but like, not really. I was really like, scratching my head over what this stream should be about. The thing is, there has been a running theme I definitely can't not notice during this campaign. I keep calling it a campaign, but you get what I mean. I always do find though, as much as I enjoy doing like the variety streams where it is, you know, me in a tiny little corner over here, they do a lot better, but it's full face me. Uh, but this is the stuff that I found a lot of enjoyment from. It had a lot more responses, a lot more chatting, let me sort of plan things together. You know, I've got a million notes of things that can all come together, which has been very nice. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to do. Uh, an idea, it's vague, is this stream could just be a 2020 retrospective. Or, if that's a little bit too doom and gloom, we'll flip the script over to a 2021 plannings idea. Or like, suggestions, maybe? We've taken a million, like, movies to go through, and like, I don't... I'm not allowed to officially plan Daz Reviews 2021 just yet. I, I've i been specifically like, alright, either January 1st or January 15th or 14th, only then am I allowed to get back into work and like go through all the scheduled video, uh, not scheduled, all the suggested videos and decide, ah, I like this one, I like that one, here's all the slots in the year, sprinkle them in, organise what series are going where, anything new, changes the format, yada yada. If you have an idea of like a format change we could maybe do for streams or for YouTube, I'll be open to hear them. You know, they're all things I am to consider. Otherwise, we could just sort of look back at how the year has treated all of us, the ups and downs, or I'm just going to waffle for two hours 
and then end off on a bit of a, you know. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm definitely looking forward. Like, obviously, I've had now access to this room for a while. It's getting a little bit messy, hence why I've just covered up a bunch of lawn and a couple of cushions. But I am like starting to settle down. I've been playing a lot of the PS5, gotten a little bit sucked into Battlefield One, which is not what I expected to my time to get drained away into, but it has. Um, but hopefully, in January I can upgrade that even more by just having a a cleanse of the brain a little bit. You know? I do have I do have something to show. It's uh, but in the theme of 2020, there was some good news going around. Although this is technically a December 2019 uh, news, I did receive this this year. A big ol' important fancy letter from YouTube. Wow. Signed by Su- well, not actually signed by Susan, it's a photocopy. Everyone gets the same copied and pasted paragraph, but here, packed away in a little, uh, box. This is- oh, magical. A box. Oops. I got myself my silver play button. That was this year. I mean, I, I, I earned 100,000 subscribers in December, and then nothing showed up until June, in which I said, hey, can I have a button? And they were like, oh yeah, and then I got it, like, two days later. But, you know, the thought was there. That's my 2020 in a nutshell. It's actually kind of giving me better... See that? Look at that. I could use this as a... Oh, wonderful. There you go. There's the lighting we need. <laughs> um... I have had this stuff, it's, it was literally covered in dust when I went to go get that for this thing. Um, because I don't have a, I don't have a frame. I don't have, I now I guess. I guess I could put it in one of those, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, I'll work that out in a bit. But that's like, my 2020, relatively speaking, has been pretty rad. Like, I started this, I started the year off with 100,000 subscribers. A whole new format of YouTubering that worked. And I just had to polish it up a little bit. I always wanted to do the green screen storyline kind of thing. I don't know, I really like that style. A bit more, more fun, I guess. Um, I think I've made it halfway. I like the format I have at the moment where it is, you know, people could recognize me on the street now if people were allowed out on the streets. But I do want to do more with it. Um, I like the idea of incorporating myself in the movies. Sometimes I have the time to invest in that, so I usually do it for the terrible series. Sometimes I don't, and they get a little bit like it's just like I only pop up for the news, the notifications, and everyone skips it. Less of a fan of that. Um, so I think going forwards into 2021, I would love to do a storyline. Like have every... It's hard to think how to do it well, but my imagination is every video is its own separate episode of whatever's going on. Like Maybe it has a story, maybe it doesn't, but you could binge watch them and they're all linked. I think that would be really cool. Um, but I don't know how to do that. Do you have a favorite video that you released this year, Dads? Um, that is an excellent question. I'm gonna go find out. Right, 2020 had a lot of videos, all right? There's, there's 52 weeks in a, in a year. I uploaded pretty much every single week and then double for the last two months. So eight extra, so I did 60 videos. That's pretty sweet. Um, some did well and some did not. This is our latest one. This video has freaking, well, more than twelve and a half thousand in a few hours. That's crazy. This video is popping off. Some videos did well, others did not. I had a little bit of a low November for some reason. Uh, probably a couple of copyright claims getting through. I mean, uh, good views cut down by copyright. Uh, bad views cut down by copyright. Bad luck sometimes. Um, I can tell you what my worst video is, but that's probably not a good sense. Not a good idea. Um, I do, I liked the Terrible series. That came, that was my like big show, you know? That was the big, I'm putting myself in the movie, having big fun, everyone loves it. Started in 2020 at the beginning, like literally January 20 started and looped all the way around. Um, as for what my favorite one of those is, I'm not sure. Uh, DK was quite fun. Much as it didn't actually pick up on views, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Bulk was its own... Ugh. I don't know, I don't know if I enjoyed it, but it really it is really a thing. Uh, I'm not sure if I could say it was my best video. Um, my kids was alright. They're all, they're all... I enjoy them in their own little ways. I don't know if I've got a favourite, though. Uh, I think, it, oddly enough, the ones I liked the most didn't perform as well. 
So like I really liked my Nausicaa one because it was very different from the format, but it definitely didn't do too well. Okay, now the videos are starting to become a blur. Um, I really liked my Train to Busan one, but that obviously didn't perform because it was a little bit, yeah, you know. Um, Cuphead really performed well. I think that was pretty all right. I liked my Scoob one a lot, actually. Scoob might be, as much as it was controversial, I mean, it was a big controversial title, I pirated Scoob and this is why. I liked the way I edited it. I liked the way it all came together. I liked, it kind of had a meaning, it had a purpose. Um, Kingsman, I enjoy. Oh, it actually did get views eventually. Okay, it was a bit, bit slow, that one. That was the first time my editor came in. He worked on this one, and I think, like, Ghostbusters, and I think he worked on all of these, mostly, I think, at first, yeah, and then he did every other one. Uh, I also really like... Ah! Maybe we'll do stuff that doesn't involve showing something on screen. Trying to, if possible, like, get this in the... Ah, that works. There you go, that'll have to do. Um, one day I'll have that set up nice. So what are we talking about? We're talking about like, my favourite video. Yeah, probably would have to be like one of the successful ones I realised. Brian Reynolds, pretty good. Cuphead, I did enjoy. Um, there were some others that underperformed, but like generally, I'm glad where things went this year. It was kind of doing more of the same, just sort of polishing it because it was new. I think going forwards, I'm not going to say that next year is going to be grand. I mean, everyone's already talking about COVID-20 something or like... A million things could go wrong, but I would definitely like to think that I, uh, I've i got like, uh, I don't have plans. I specifically haven't made plans yet, but I plan to make plans to make upgrades to improve my content. It'd be very strange because I do want to go back to Comic-Con at some point. I did a couple years ago, a year ago, uh, and I had, actually I guess I, no I didn't. I didn't have many subscribers back then because it was so early days. The point is, I now have 240,000. I got 140,000 this year. Maybe almost 150,000 by the end of it, which is crazy. Um, so it'd be very interesting to see, once we're all out and about, people will recognise me. Huh? That's crazy to think, but it's possible. I'd like to do more content that allows for that as well. I want to become more of a personality. And hopefully spread more of a positive message on my channel. Because everyone clicks on the terrible videos, the terrible movies. Everyone loves to bash something. We're a very cynical society online. And it's nice, because I mean, I get the views, I get paid nicely. But sometimes it does come with a bit of a negative air, and I want to sort of try and push that we're enjoying ourselves and being happy in the moment of shooting someone else down. Or something. I gotta I work a spit on it that isn't watch a hateful video and feel hate afterwards. Does that make sense? I need to, need to spread some good vibes. Maybe I'll do some trend hunting, trend hopping a little bit, you know? Because, like, as much as. I usually roll my eyes when something's trending. I'm like, oh, do I want to be another number in that? I'm kind of a little sad that I couldn't join the Among Us uh, trend. Because watching Foot of a Ferret again, as I was doing earlier today, he was explaining how Among Us allowed all sorts of YouTubers from entirely different circles and circumstances to collab. It, me it made a new era of YouTube and friendships. I was like, wow, that's really true. I wish I was part of that! Now obviously, even if I did choose to play Among Us back when it was hype, I wouldn't do the same, you know, the performance wouldn't be that grand because I can only do solo, pretty much. I could play with real life friends, but they wouldn't be too comfortable on stream, I imagine. Um, and I could only do like the, the typey one, but I might follow it in the future to see if it goes anywhere afterwards. And I mean, Orp's husband, I mean, he already knew, like he's the big guy who, you know, made a rise out of Among Us. I know I'm saying I want to be the next one of those, but it is, you know. Daz, have you met any of the other film commentary YouTubers? Filmento, The Closer One, Shafrilas Productions, 24 Frames of Nick, etc. I have not. For a start, only did this, only started this recently. Started September last year, or I guess July last year, technically. I haven't been really able to go out and see people since then, you know. Most of my YouTube film career has been plagued by this pandemic, which is not any good because it's like new, it's fresh, it's not long, I've got plenty of potential. I have made a couple of like DM connections, um, not with any of the ones you mentioned though, ironically enough. We've had it with uh, Nerdstalgic, 
and we've had it with Seamus Borman, I think his name is. Uh, so, Pixar British boy who talks in his bedroom, and Nerdstalgic who makes really kicker video essays. Again, sometimes Pixar. So, that's it. Um, I would like to meet those kind of people. What are you doing? It's so scary! I'm so introverted and awkward around strangers, it's unreal. You never get to see that side of me, because it's just me and a camera. I'm nice and confident and open, you know, open-palmed, calm, but like around strangers, I... <laughs> Not my thing, but we'll, uh... We'll see. But actually, I guess that would be another plan for 2021. I would love to make some connections. I have one IRL friend who happens to be a YouTuber, bigger than me, and I'm like, so that's like, technically there? We'll have to see. I'm also next year, assuming things go well, I'll be moving to Brighton, which is the YouTube hub, you know? And it's less than half an hour away from London, it's just south of London basically. There's all sorts of reasons to go there because it kind of helps all aspects of my life, um, but also career. Everyone's there, I can go to London very easily, I can go to the London YouTube space, I can go to YouTube events. That's a stepping stones to make it. I'm probably gonna have to like huddle to my IRL friend who knows what he's doing the whole way, but I mean, otherwise, that's a potential 2021 plan. I might have said this like a year ago. <laughs> that got delayed, but there you are. It'd be nice if I could expand beyond my content a little, which is really hard to do, you know? I'm no, like film content, I'm enjoying it, it's pretty well. But I don't want to be gain to my content when the content are very like inevitably runs out. That makes sense? Like a lot of YouTubers careers are just a peak of a mountain and then down again. I want to be able to like ride the wave and then I might change genres eventually. Maybe not now. I've only just changed genres a year ago from gaming but like I want to become more known as the guy who makes them rather than them. And I don't really have specifics for 2021 because a lot of it is waiting around for this to finish, you know? Um, hopefully summertime is when I'll be moving. Beyond that, I don't really know. Get a haircut, buddy. You know what year it is? It's 2020! You think I can go outside? Just go to my local hair barber dresser? I got asthma! I'm technically a little bit vulnerable. These guys don't wear the- they wear masks, but they don't- they don't wear, like, the supervisor masks that they did in the first month they could open. I ain't trusting that. Plus, it's kind of fun to have hair. I'm doing this for- I'm, I'm 10 months into this. Yeah, I'm 10 months into this hair. You think I'm gonna stop at 10? I'm gonna stop at 12, thank you. Then I can know how long my hair gets in a year. Be like, that's cool. Get a funky sneeze shot where my hair immediately disappears because I cut it in between. Got it all planned out. That's my only solid plan in 2021. I'm gonna sneeze and it will disappear. I'll tell you what, actually, what other- I guess I'm just, it's a stream of asking for suggestions because it's the thing that's on my mind the most is I don't know if I'm coming back because I don't know what to come back to. I would really like to play Danganronpa. I would really like to play the Pikmin modded games. Um, is there anything else that's like itching away at my play level? Uh, let me get my... But then also, do those long-term things do well? I know the Pikmin one will, which is why I'm avoiding it because I don't want to be known just for Pikmin stuff. Um, like I could play some Stardew Valley. I started playing God of War, but it hasn't really soaked me in yet. Um, like what other things? Persona 5 I enjoy, but I or Persona 4 as well, but I already know the stories of those, and I don't know if they make good streams. You know what I mean? I wish I'd played Hyrule Warriors, the, the Age of Calamity when it came out. That would have been fun, because I still need to play that, and it would have been fun to just do one stream live. Again, following a trending video. Um, am interested in the new Fable, kind of. Minecraft would be fun to hop on at some point. Final Fantasy 7, when the part 2 of the remake comes out, seems pretty fun. No, not Red Dead. Scott Pilgrim would be nice. I imagine that might even be a trending thing if it's not already released. Just when it, you know, gets re-released and actually accessible to everyone. Subnautica, fun, but everyone's already kind of done that one. So, I'm iffy on it. Uh, Sean Chante, pretty fun. Metal Gear? I do want to cover up the Metal Gear series at some point. That kind of covers it. Yeah. Those are, those are nothing. Burning like Danganronpa. Like, what else is there? 
back to. Because a lot of times I, I don't that I actually run out of stream ideas, but it's more like I hesitate on the ones that I do have. But it'd be a matter of I have to plan a whole stream campaign again. Um, and similarly, like, do I do it, if I do do it for just like another couple months again, do I still do it over Christmas time? Do I do like a summertime streaming thing? A whole lot to juggle here. Like, another thing I could technically do, but definitely wouldn't be good content. I bought something, this is my Christmas present to myself. Uh, let me just shake my address ain't on it well. There anyway. I bought myself a big old box. In it is a drawing tablet. So I can like, draw and it pops up on my computer. Very fancy. Because uh, I wanted to pick up the, the habit of drawing a little bit. Because I want to draw concept art for like ideas I've had. And I'm not a good not a good artist. Not a good drawer at all. But hopefully I'll learn it. I it, It's, you know, compatible with Photoshop. I know Photoshop. Got a big old book over there that will hopefully teach me everything if I actually soak in the hours. Which I kind of plan to do. And this was quite the investment. Um, but maybe I could make drawing streams in the future. I don't know how well they would do. But it's a thought. But yeah, I uh, I must say, I, I, it's been nice to have company in the last couple of you know? In a world, I mean, obviously, I've got company of one other over there. But, to, uh, people to, ch to chat to for the last two months during these times, it's been quite nice. I've been mean, very busy juggling all my work at the same time, of course I have, but even still, it has actually been pretty nice. Uh, so I do want to thank every one of you for joining me, whether you're watching now, all uh, my my new accounts are very outdated, so I don't know who how many there are. But hi, and if you're watching a stream vod or a stream highlight, hi as well. I would like to do more movie content, as it lines up with my YouTube. Hard to find streaming movie content, other than like tier lists and not watching it. But then I would like to do some gaming stuff sometimes, because I do enjoy games. But then I want to do just chatting IRL stuff because that does really well. It's pretty fun. It's very new. I'll have to work out a way to juggle all that. I should stop thinking about it. I should stop planning. I'm not supposed to be planning until like just January, February time anyway. I just can't turn off my brain. It's just a shame because I don't have anything to, you know, cuddling this. Oh, shall I? There you go. There's your content. Now I feel like I'm boasting. There you go. Show the backside of it so no one knows what it is. Perfect. Open the gate. Shut the gate. Open the gate a little. It's strange. It doesn't feel like the end yet. Um, but it is. I gotta, it's going to be very strange when I turn this off and I'll be like, wow, I have a break for like a couple months now. Streaming is definitely a, a big hard job. I, like, I have a lot of respect for like the big main higher up massive streamers. Like Their lives are sat in front of a computer. You know, like, That's a lot of investment. I can't. I don't think I can do that fully full stream. But full time even. Like I enjoy them, but man, like when I used to do like the seven hour streams before, like a year ago, it was very draining. And gets in the way of like events, friendship. Although next year, if I like there's a chance that I'll be living alone anyway, because lots of different circumstances and life paths, then maybe I'll pick up uh, again, I'm planning stuff again. I'm not, not. I keep thinking in my head, I'm like, oh, it feels like an end of an era thing. It's not. I'll probably be like back sometime in 2021, but I just don't know when. I don't know the form. But for now, at least, this will be the final stream. We we are on pause until an undetermined time. But uh, on that note, I think we're going to end it off there. Thank you for joining me in any capacity you have. I've enjoyed this whole sequence that's what it has come down to i have enjoyed this i've been surprised by what works sometimes it's been nice overall and uh i think it's a matter of do i want to invest the time and the money and the enjoyment there is they don't they're not all 100 percent up you know and it's like uh it's it's the question of life you know you get three levers and they all affect each other what do you pick what do you like what do you do um I'll think about that in January or February time or whatever. But for now, that is us done on this stream for the final time. Thank you for joining me. Anyway, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.